That doesn't look very Christmassy, does it? Hi guys, it's Misty. Welcome back to my channel. I have a confession to make. And I think that you might already know this, but I'm a Christmas hoarder. And today I'm going to show you just how much of a Christmas hoarder that I am because I have little stashy hidey holes where I hide, well, I don't really, yes, no, I hide the Christmas items that I think I'm going to keep that I find when I'm out yard selling and thrifting and I shove them in a cabinet and forget about them until it's time to decorate my house. And it's, my cabinet is chock full. I actually have two cabinets and they're full of stuff that I've just shoved in there to save for Christmas. And today's the day that I'm going to siphon through all of the things that I have hoarded over the summer and decide, am I going to keep it? Am I gonna sell it? What am I gonna do with it? And make some space to hoard some more over the year. So let's go ahead and see what I've been stashing away for the past 12 months. The day that I'm filming this video, I still have Halloween, not Halloween, Thanksgiving, because I haven't put it away yet. So still got Thanksgiving down here. I do have one reindeer there and kind of a holiday candle. But anyway, this little record cabinet is the place where I like to stash things. And as you can see, we got a lot stashed in there. So there's stash spot number one. And then I have stash spot number two, which is this cabinet here. So I've got things, well, just shoved in there. I don't know if I have anything down here or not. Oh, I've got Valentine's shoved down there. Uh, I think just Valentine's and board games are down there. So we won't go through that today, but I am gonna go through this cabinet and that cabinet. This is gonna be kind of fun for me because I haven't been through this stuff in a long time. So I'm gonna go through it as well and kind of see it for the first, well, not for the first time, but it's gonna refresh my, my brain. So this is a thing. Now I had a friend of mine that gave me a lot of these napkin rings and I've sold some and I've kept some. This is one of the ones that I have decided to keep this little toy soldier napkin ring. There's only one, I think there's only, no, there's two of them. See, sometimes you stash things away and you forget what you have. There are two of them. They're Lusterware, little toy soldier napkin rings. They're both made in Japan. I thought they looked cute on a shelf, so we'll see. Uh, some of this stuff, I may decide not to keep it. Uh, once I get everything, all of my other Christmas stuff down, I may decide not to keep it and, and it'll end up going for sale. Um, my mom got me these and I shoved them in here. These little cute little camper ornaments that says Santa's camper. Aren't they cute? There's a pack of three of them. So I'll probably hang these on the tree or just kind of hang them off of a cabinet door. But they're so cute and they've got little Christmas lights on them. I think she probably, yeah, no, she got them at Big Lots for $6. So those I'll put out somewhere. Ooh. And then I have, this I've actually found at an antique store when we were visiting my daughter in New Harmony, um, or an antique mall, I don't know, antique store, antique mall. But I don't know, he's not, he's kind of Christmassy because he has a little Christmassy hat on, but I think I paid a dollar for him. He's made in Japan. He's just a little clown playing a guitar. I don't know. I don't like clowns, but I thought he was cute and I don't know, I couldn't leave him behind. So putting him in my box. And then I also, at that same place, I bought this Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus painted by Becky ever so nicely in 1981. They're just homemade or home painted um, Santa and Mrs. Claus pieces. So like those. I'll put those up because you know I'm I'm not only am I am I a Christmas hoarder I'm mainly a Santa hoarder I do like Santa. All right, this next thing I also got at that same place is this little sign that just says Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. It's just a little plastic sign. It probably went to you know Christmas Village, but I'm gonna put it on my shelf and I liked it. It has Santa on it and it it was like fifty cents to a dollar. What else do I have in here? I'm kind of scared to take things down uh, because it might fall. Um, this is something that dad found for me. And at the shop, there's a little area 
we have like a filing cabinet and he'll sometimes will put little trinkets and things because he knows I like little bitty things and he knows I like Santa. So when he's out and he sees things, he'll put them on that filing cabinet for me. And this was one of the things. It's just a little Santa and it's an old pencil sharpener. And he's made out of like a composite. So he's just cute. So he'll go in my Santa collection as well. Okay, this, I'm just like gingerly taking things off of here because it's, maybe I should, here, is that better? So you can kind of see what I'm doing. This I got at Good, where did I get this? Salvation Army for a dollar. And it's just a holiday bubbling nightlight. So I'll put it, I'll plug it in somewhere. It, it just looks like an old fashioned Christmas bubble light. Anyway, so got that. Hmm. This is in the little town that I live in, Bedford, um, our square. Every year they'll put out a new Christmas ornament and they'll showcase a, a particular building. And this year it was the Masonic Temple. I'll take this out of the plastic. So every year they do these ornaments and this is this year's. So there's the Masonic Temple in Bedford, Indiana. And it has a little history on it on it on the back so every year i get one of these for my tree this is the third year that they're doing it historic downtown bedford so that's my ornament that i got and all the proceeds go to the bedford revitalization um program that they're doing all right so there's that i guess it's like a this is like a puzzle I also got this little, I don't, some of this I don't even remember where I got it from, but it's like a little wheelie snowman. He's made out of plastic. Oh, does he still work? No, he doesn't, I mean, he doesn't, he kind of rolls, but he doesn't like roll by himself. So there's him. Oh, those are Easter, so we'll put those away for another day. I do have, oh, here's another. He's a little racer too, but you can have races between Santa and the snowman. But they, they just they just roll. They don't race. Um, they are made by Fun World. They're made in, they're made in the USA. So that's a sure sign of it being vintage. I also I think I have another one of these. But here's a little Santa candle holder. You put the candle in there. He's got the spaghetti trim. So I got him. I don't know where but he's been in my stash and what else? I got this Avon Santa soap it's still in there but I liked the box so I got that probably from the 80s I would think and this is the button is off of it or the magnet I think I'm gonna put a magnet on it but the front of it just says ho 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 Sometimes I don't know why I buy some things. Here's a big candle with an Easter egg inside of it. I'll put that up there. Oh, look at this little guy. Oh, it's this little pipe cleaner Santa. Look at his little vintage pipe cleaner body and his little sequin eyes. He's so cute. Oh, I like weird stuff like this though. So I'm, he's going in my collection. And then, oh, I love this too. I think you guys will like this too. This is just fabulous. It's a little stock, felt stocking. It's got toes. Isn't that fun? It's just a little ornament someone's made out of felt with the toes on the socks. So I got that. And this is just, this is an Avon bottle, but it's shaped like a Christmas tree and I liked it. I got it for a quarter. I do, I did get this for a quarter. I do remember that in the bottom of it. It's just Avon. Which, you know, Avon's bottles are Avon bottles, but this one, I like the figure that it is a Christmas tree. Oh boy. Oh, I, dad got this in a box of stuff, but it is a Holly tie. But the cool thing is it's a Holt Howard Holly tie. Snow tipped Holly tie, it's still in the box. I gotta be very careful because the, the plastic has a graphic on it too. And I love vintage packaging. So I'm gonna be very careful. Oh, look. It says that it's made in, made in Japan. No, 
Made in Hong Kong. But here it is. Look at our little tie. That would be so uncomfortable. But this will be good for display. I'm keeping it. And it's Holt Howard, which I love. Holt Howard Santas are my favorite. Uh, I do have a couple of Holt Howard Santa mugs. And once I get the Christmas, my Christmas stuff out, I will do a home tour. Oh, man. I don't want to. I'm trying to get this in here ever so gently. Oh, there we go. So the Holt Howard Holly Tie. That will go in the display. And then, man. Oh, I got some broken. You know, guys know that I like broken nutcrackers. I have a whole collection of broken nutcrackers. Crack, crack, crackers? Crackers. Cracker. Nutcrackers. Anyway, he's missing his hat and part of his head. So he's fun. And then here's another one in here. This one's not missing it. Oh, uh, no. He's not missing anything. He's not broken. But... He's just a nutcracker. I like him. There's him. And then I've got Roly Poly Santa. He's fun. A little plastic. He's got a yellow beard now. He's He used to be, he's turned a little yellow. But I do like him. He'll go on my shelf with my other Santas. And then this is probably something I'm going to take to the shop. Ooh, I've got something on the inside. Um, it's this little choir boy planter. He, I paid a dollar ninety nine for him at Goodwill. Apparently, let me see if he's got any. See, this is what I mean. Take my advice. I've given you this advice and I didn't follow it. But when you go to Goodwill, it's always a good idea to try to take the sticker off as soon as you get home because the longer it sits on there. Okay. Yeah. See, he, there is a another sticker. The Goodwill, I mean, they got all this space here, all this space, but they're going to put it over that sticker. Darn them. Oh, see, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to be careful and work on this, but little choir boy planter. I'll have to work on that so it doesn't, the tag doesn't get ruined. Oh, I got, I got stuff inside of, stuff inside of stuff. This also has a Goodwill Okay, but there's not, okay. I paid $1.99 for this, but there isn't a paper sticker underneath. I'm just trying to see what it says. Oh, this is Avon 1983. It's a little creamer with Santa on it. I think it'd look cute with a bottle brush tree. So I think that's probably what I'm gonna do with him. Have a bottle brush tree. Bottle, I can't talk today. Bottle brush tree in that guy Ooh. and then these things i see these a lot on pinterest not this exactly because this is a baby toy but i see people doing these beads and hanging them up or just like adding them to accents but this one i got in a box lot and it's christmas colors so i don't know if i'll add it to a display we'll see these little guys were sent to me by my friend Alex at Chapter 2 Vintage Co. Um, I'll link her channel below. She's fi she finds amazing Christmas things. And she's got lots of Christmas haul videos from thrifting. So you have to check out her channel. But she sent me these little two little um, Santas. Little Santa mugs. So those are special to me. Oh, that's Easter. I'll put you down. I have a whole bottom of this cabinet is filled with Easter. I think it's all Easter. Are you all Easter down there? Yeah. No, you're not. Well, I think just maybe one thing isn't Easter. Oh, boy, I'm finding more. There's another nutcracker. He is also not broken. I really like the broken ones though, but he's not broken. Oh, I'm, I'm seeing some Halloween things that um, I didn't display because they were shoved in here. Um, do it my way or I'll push you off my broom. Oh, I just stuck all my Halloween stuff up. I, I need to have a better organization, apparent, obviously, of my things. Oh no, where are you? 
your St. Patrick's Day. I'm pretty sure, no, man, I'm, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing some Christmas mixed in with the Easter, like this little girl here. Oh, she is adorable. She's a little angel. Isn't she cute? Now, I probably won't keep her. She's something that I will be selling. She looks like she's either um, Lefton or Napco or an Esco. I don't think she's an Esco. I'm pretty sure she's probably a Lefton. Um, little angel with a little yellow bird. She's in a little Christmas dress playing a flute. I can look her up by just typing in these numbers and I'll either do like Lefton or Napco Air or something and hopefully we'll be able to to find similar comps to her. Let's just see if I'm not going to show the Easter stuff because I'll maybe do that in another video at Easter time. Let me just look. I mean, <laughs> I'll show you one thing. I mean, this is the kind of crap that I like. Like this. Look how creepy he is. Isn't he fabulous? He, someone's painted him with his creepy face. But that's for another day because that's Easter. I'm just making sure that there aren't any, there aren't any more Christmas. No, there's not any more Christmas in there. No, you are all Easter. We'll put you back in the Easter shelf. Okay, but, oh gosh, I forgot about that thing. All right, boop, put you back in here. You are not Christmas. We're not focusing on you if you're not Christmas. You're not Christmas either. You'll go down here. All right, so these are very cute. Now, I probably will take these to the shop. Or, I mean, if I'm, the things that I say I'm going to take to the shop are available for sale. So if you see them, you can send me a message. My email address is linked below um, and you're, you're welcome to, to purchase them from me. And this guy, I need to find his tag to find out what he is. But these are very cute little angels in a little package here. They are plastic. They're little, little angels, the little angels. There's four of them. Very cute. Sweet little faces, but um, got them at Goodwill. Paid a dollar ninety nine for them, so those are something else that um, I will be selling. Oh, he is St. Patrick's Day. Ah, oh, I'm going to show him just because he's great. He's made in Japan. He's not Christmas at all, but he's still fabulous. So we'll put him down here with his springtime friends. Oh, don't break. I do have like 4,000 Bath and Body Works candles that are half burnt that were holiday related. I've got, and I think I just ordered more. This is Celebrate. So I need to get these out so they can be burnt. This one has never been burnt, I don't think. Oh, it has. Ooh. Oh, I know why. This is a Christmas tree smell. So I'll get that out since we're going to be putting up the Christmas tree tonight. Uh, that's another, just another candle in a cup. Okay. Oh, Alex sent me her too, a Rhonda Reindeer. I Rhonda. Um, I have lots of Rhonda and Rodney. Rodney is the male reindeer, and Rhonda is, actually, this might be, this is Ramona. This is one of their daughters. This is Rodney and um, Ramona's daughter. No, Rodney and... I don't remember. This is their daughter, and I have a whole slew of these. I love these. They're from the 80s. They're very nostalgic to me, and I love them. All right, so this, oh, he is just fabulous, too. He's a vintage ornament. I probably will sell him as well. I think he's magical. Isn't he? Look at him. He's, look at his big bell sleeves and his big bell-bottom pants. He's just, like, very, like, I'm just the sassiest thing ever. I don't know why he has a 4,000 year or 4,000 long. That doesn't look very Christmassy, does it? But anyway, he's very fabulous. But I will, he will be going for sale as well. Then I have, hopefully I have the rest of his, his, oh, hopefully I have your parents in here, Jesus. But I have Jesus in here. I think I have Mary and Joseph as well. I like to buy mismatched uh, nativity pieces too. But this one's super cute because Jesus comes out of his manger. Now, I know that a lot of people will like, they'll have their nativity set up. And they'll and if Jesus comes out, or even if they don't even put Jesus down in their manger scene until Christmas Day. 
because, you know, it's when Jesus was born. And so this would be kind of cute because you could have the manger in it, but then you could add Jesus on Christmas morning. So sweet. If my kids were little, I'd be doing that. Um, this is made in, oh, wait a minute. This is made in Italy. Is this Fontanini? It is! This is a Fontanini 1991. They're, this might be worth some money, guys. I might have to look up this. Someone might need their Jesus and their little Fontanini. Well, Jesus, I don't want to, that's bad. I'm going to sell Jesus. I mean, in all, I have all good intentions, Jesus. And I'm just going to sell you to somebody else that really needs you for their family Christmas. See? All right. The next thing is, oh, I love this. I forget. Sometimes you, you find things and you forget that you've had them. Cats love Christmas too, stocking. Mr. Fluffer Pants, I found your new stocking. He doesn't care, but this will be filled with treats for him. That is, look, it has little mice on the top. A little holly at the bottom. Oh, it's so cute. Fluffer Pants, I'll hang you right there for now. All right. And then... I also have, oh, this is so cute. Okay, those of you who are my age in their mid-40s, you will remember Fievel. This is made by Applause. But do you remember Fievel from An American Tale? He's all tangled up in Christmas lights. He is adorable. Look at the little plug back there. He's cute. I like him. All right, that's Easter. That's Thanksgiving. I didn't even set these out. Gosh darn it. I have all these Smurfs in different for different holidays, and here is the Thanksgiving Smurfette and Smurf, and I'm going to put these up over here because I'm getting ready to put away all my Thanksgiving decor. It goes up there. So look, that'll get stuck in that bag. And see, I have a Halloween one and St. Patrick's Day, and I like to just add these to my on my shelf. I have two St. Patrick's Day. Are they different? Yeah, they're different. Smurfs, and then I have a little falling on the ice Smurf. Mr. Fluffer Pants, I found you a stocking. Aren't you thrilled? He is so thrilled. All right, what else? Oh, I don't think I have her husband, but I have. Oh no 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 no! Where did I do? Where are you, where'd you go, Santa? I found your wife. Here she is. So I have. This was the Santa the candle holder that I just showed you, and now I have Mrs. Claus candle holder so a taper candle will go in the back of these but ho, ho, ho. I found your wife Santa I mean you've been with her in my hoarder oh that's Halloween too grief I didn't even display any of this Halloween stuff because it's all been shoved in this cabinet oh this is adorable this is something that what does that say Best Buy this did not come from Best Buy but the tag says Best Buy can barely see it. Best Buy. It's this little, little Prixie. Got a little Christmas Prixie sitting on her holly. But I love, love her. She's fabulous. Love her. She's made in Japan as well. So I love you. You're going to go in my collection. And this was just a plastic mug. Winking Santa mug. Made in Hong Kong. And then I got a flock Santa, and I just love. I, if you look at the expressions on these flock Santas, they're fabulous. He just in their body poses, he's like just frolicking. He's a frolicking flock Santa. Love his face, and oh, I love these. I don't think that, I don't know. I'll have to get my. Yeah, this is Hallmark, but this one is extra special. I love the rainbow and the angel sliding down the rainbow on her butt. That is a Hallmark ornament. Probably, I think it's 1980 something. I'll have to get my loop out to look because sometimes the the writing on those ornaments are very hard to see. Here's another Hallmark. This is a more modern one because the writing is a lot easier to see. It's 2004. It's this cute little, um, it says God Child. Now this is probably one that I'm going to list as well. I don't have a God Child, um, but it's just, a cute little C says God child there on the little fuzzy lamb. So this is one thing, an ornament that I will get listed. Here is a um, let it snow flag. OK, 
Okay, well, we'll put that out on my, what are these? There's some black candles for Halloween. But I didn't put that out. Okay, then, <laughs> So I got this at a yard sale and it drove my husband and I nuts. We got it at the beginning of, of summer and we got it at one of the first yard sales that we went to and we heard it the whole day. And it doesn't sell for a lot. I might still try to sell it because I sure as the heck don't want it. But it is a, I'm going to, it's a sit, spin a song and it plays music and we listen and it played it all day. It's made by Hallmark. So every time you roll your toilet paper, you'll hear this magical song. This would be a good like white elephant gift to give somebody. Those sound effects. Sound effects are wonderful. So, okay, I'm gonna put you down. So I probably will save that and give it to somebody as a gift because that's hilarious. Okay, this is fabulous. This is a The Night Before Christmas. It's like that cloth feeling book. It's copyright 1947 from Whitman. It's illustrated by Hilda Melchor and Will McCain. Look at his face. Oh my gosh. See, the thing of it is, it, the condition is questionable, but the I, the I mean, you could put that in a frame and hang it in your house. See, the... It, it's coming apart, but, oh, look at the graphics on here. Look at the little children all nestled snug in their beds. Oh my gosh, look. Look at how wonderful this is. I, this, these are just so nostalgic. I love Christmas children's book, look. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. Look at the soot all over the floor. Santa, you made, oh my gosh. Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. I love it, love, love it. And what else do I have in here? This is a, I usually hang this up. It's a mistletoe that's all fancy. I used to hang it above my dining room table. I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not. I'll have to figure out a place to put it. This is plastic, it's not glass. But it's very pretty. It does look really pretty when the window, in the window, the lights reflected on it. Here's another non-broken, not, oh no, he is broken. His nose is missing. He, he doesn't have a nose. So, he's a cool guy. What else? Do I have anything else in here? Oh, nothing else Christmas-wise. Aww. I am finding Thanksgiving things, though. My, it's smashed, and... Who made this? One of my children made this. Their name should be on it somewhere. Isn't he fun? Uh, who made this? I don't know which one of my children made it. Their name isn't on it. I'll have to ask them. I'm going to say this looks like Jaden. I think Jaden made this. I'll put this in with my Thanksgiving things. I think that is all of the Christmas items that I had in this this particular stashy spot. I can't forget my Mr. Fluffer Pants' is stocking. And then let's go to the next cabinet. Hello again, this is Editing Misty. And as I was editing the video, it was so long. It was like the first part of it was half an hour long. So this is me telling you that I am going to stop the video for today and we'll continue with part two tomorrow. So make sure that you check out part two, which is the huge cabinet. It will be uploaded tomorrow. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Make sure that if you're, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel that you do and you hit the bell notification, then you'll be notified when that video goes up and make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. And I think that's it. I think that's all my spiel. But stay tuned for tomorrow because tomorrow will be more of my hoard of Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hey.